right. Welcome back to another season of the I Love Beer Show. This is Ron, as you know. We've got Jimmy here. We've got D. How are you guys doing today? I'm hot. Yeah, it's a little hot here. Hot. We're broadcasting live in the cantina, Jim and Mer uh, Myrna's Cantina here in Las Vegas. You guys know from previous seasons of beer shows, but we're back and we're looking forward to another great season we're of brick and craft beers, right? <laughs> and you know, we've been going to a lot of beer events and beer festivals. We like, like always, we we meet the brewers, and sometimes the brewers send us their beers for us to review, right? That's right. So we're gonna yeah. start the season with a brewer that we've known very well, Rick from Indian Wells Brew, and they he sends us beers all the time. We really like that place. And we're going to start the show off, we're going to start the season off with their Rainbow Trout Lager. Perfect. Now, what's interesting, this is a new beer. This is this is new beer. We're one of the first people to review this beer. Really? You, you never had it before, have you? No. Because it's a new beer. It's a new beer. It's a new beer. Right? Like, you never had it before. It's not even sales yet, type beer? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So let's open this beer and we'll give it a show. That's very nice. That was really, really pretty cool. And okay. we'll pour one oh, you. Funny story about this. I'm in the I'm at Green Valley oh, Lake. Is it? And Big Bear, right? Well, this is Running Springs, California. But uh, we're walking around the lake. There's a Fourth of July festival. They're having a parade. It's on the second or something. And this lady stops me out of nowhere, and she goes, "You wouldn't happen to have a bottle of wine, would you?" <laughs> so as a matter of fact, I do. I had to crack three uh, what were Lagunitas IPAs for her real quick. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> she was like, "Man, I gotta get one of those." Well, the first thing I can say is it has good head. <clears throat> it, it well, does. I, 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 good yeah, head. I definitely poured that a little bit bad on my part, but uh, cheers. 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 There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Here's the Rick. Oh, it's like a. Yeah, hey, that's pretty light, huh? It is pretty light. It's a very light, light and flavorful. Yeah, this is a, a 5.5 percent beer. So it's a very easy sessionable. For a loggy? Yeah. Like a loggy, a lager. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, exactly. It's malty. Mm. I like it. What do you think about this beer, Dave? All right, it's I like it. It's light and it's still got a little bit of a heavy taste on the back. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's got some flavor. I like it. So yeah, you know what it's I like about this too. Sessionable. It's sessionable. It's a, it's called Rainbow Trout, and I can see drinking this as I fish for Rainbow Trout. Right? Exactly. Not that I've ever done that. Well, would, yeah. yeah. Would have a yeah okay. If you can keep it cold, mm. definitely. I could read the label. Would you like me to read the label? Re oh, read the label. Says, this beer is brewed under the German. Ooh, boy, that's a tough one. Sylvain, we need you. Ryan comes to give it a tradition. We use only pure, natural artesian spring water from the historic Indian well spring barley, specially selected hops, and our proprietary yeast. Gross. Rainbow Trot is made with two-row pale malt, Munich and Vienna malts, and Saws Tetnaga. Okay. Well, never going to let him perfect. do that again. Yeah. Never <laughs> let him do that again. Right. Right. That, right. was, that was so yeah. monotone. That was like, that, you know. That will get edited out. You, yeah, boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> that was lousy. You, I, were, I didn't, I didn't you are never going to be on a game show. Two-row pale malt, Munich, no. and Vienna malts, and Saz, Tetnanger, and Howler Tower yeah. hops. It's harder than it looks, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is a Marzen style beer. <laughs> Marzen style. Prost. Yeah. Well, it's a good so, German. Good that's, German. That's funny. I like, I like that it. He takes this German, German made beer and calls it Rainbow Trout. Right, right. And again, remember, too, that this is from the mm. artesian water springs of Indian Wells. That's, 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 their, right. that's their, you know, their hook. It's, yeah, and it's no. not trouty. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, you know, that went down really, really fast. I didn't even realize I drank that. Uh, that's yeah, how easy that, that, that went yeah, down. It goes down. Good job, good. Rick, on this. You're going to have another uh, glass. But, but Jimmy, you, you like it? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Ron. May I have another? Okay. So, yeah, way to go, Rick. And this is only the first of uh, of really four beers we're going to try from Indian Wells today. We got four sure. from Indian. We've got four of them. Yeah, yeah. Rick sent us four beers, and uh, this is really going to be good. So in the in the next segment of the show, we're going to move on to a um, a brown ale. Brown ale. That they have. Now, now you're okay. getting up my house. It's better than a white ale. All right. And with that, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, well, we just finished this rainbow trout lager off. We're done with this. They, they put that on the side. We killed that. We, we killed, killed that fish. That went down so easy. Again, we're back with Indian Wells beer, craft beer, from Rick the Brewer there. Rick, again, thank you for sending us these beers. The next beer up is the Brown Ale. And you know what they call this? The Brown, brown Ale. ale. Brown Ale. Okay, they need a better marketing department. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not a good name. Hey, right? at least they're straightforward. Yeah, we know what you're going to get. Brown Ale, you're going to get Brown Ale. That's I, I hope. I hope. 
So uh, let's get, and I'm sure you haven't tried this either. This is new. No, is I can tell because the labeling's all different. Yeah. It's totally different than um, most of the, most of his, their labels have like a solid label and something kind of printed. They don't have yeah. the, uh, the art uh, background. I'm just used to the Whiskey Barrel series, so. Oh, oh yes. you know, interesting you said that. That's all we we'll, we'll come back to that a little later on in the show. Ooh. So. Always saving the best for last. Let's make sure we got a good pour here. Yeah, these are the newer ones, so. I could not pour your glass very well, but. Uh, Alright, this is the uh, Indian Wells Brown Ale. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Nice aroma. Chocolatey. Yep. Alright, what I taste from this right about the bat is this is um, a little bit more carbonated than I thought it was going to be. But it's good. It's got a good taste to it, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Went yeah. down really good. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's right, you're pouring something out real fast. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Let I me try it again. I don't think I it was very good. I can pour this on ice yeah. cream. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the no last ice one, cream in this. the Ooh. Rainbow Trout was 5.5%. This is a 6.5%. So it's still pretty sessionable. You can still drink this, right? It's 6.5. Would you consider that sessionable? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a good, easy drinking brown, I think. You know? Absolutely. I think anything under nine is sessionable yeah. for me. Of course, I have a tolerance, so... <laughs> years of doing this. Is, is years of doing this. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that Rick sent us a brown ale because uh, you know brown ales. I'm starting to get into a little bit more than I used to. I never really used to drink those, and then I got I got hooked up with the uh, Three Monkeys guys, and yeah, they had an award-winning one, and that totally turned me on to the brown ale. So now I'm like always trying these, and and uh, I, I like this. This is a good. This is a good beer. Yeah, Michael's, I, out, I there. Michael's out there. Michael's out there beating the big names with that, that mm -hmm. beer. Yeah. Unless it's a good IPA or something. Yeah. No, man, I was, you know what, I, the IPA is just, it's flooded right now. Mm. Everybody wants to make an IPA. I know. It's and like it's too many. Well, yeah. Now you like, you want to go into a place to get an IPA that's and good. it's like 102. Exactly. Beer. Exactly. Well, yeah, this beer went down really fast. Again, like the last yeah. one. That's a sign of a good drinking beer, right? Or that it's way too hot in here. Oh, <laughs> <Well>, yeah. <laughs> We're, folks, if you're sweating. outside, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're sweating. sweating. This is cold. another uh, like re record heat day in Las Vegas, 111. And, I had uh, 113 in Henderson. Well, I believe it, yeah. Here in the cantina, normally we have the air conditioning on, but you don't want to hear that on our tapings, so it's shut off, and we are roasting. All right, so thumbs up on this one, too? Thumbs yes, up. absolutely. You like this? All right, cool, cool. So, all right, so we're finishing, we're going to finish this up, and then on our you next beer... Okay, we're gonna, well, that has the bomb. Um, on our next segment here, we're going to stay with the Indian Wells. I told you we, are, we have four beers to review, and our next one's going to be a, um, a Bach from them. Actually, a double Bach. Double but it's, Bach. But it's not you're the one you're thinking of. Like Sebastian? It, it, you know, okay. I'm yeah, sure yeah, you think yeah, you have yeah. one that, that Indian Wells is famous Bach. for. It's yeah. not that one. Oh. So stay tuned, next segment, and find out for yourself. This is really good stuff. Yep. Way to go, Rick. It's time for our third beer from Indian Wells. And like we've mentioned before, we're going to do a double Bach, not their lobotomy Bach. This is a new Bach they have. It's called the Brookie Bach. Brookie Bach. Okay, do you, do you see the theme that's going on here? Yeah, you know, so it's yeah, like the latest strange, Christmas toy. Tree, right? fishing. <laughs> fishing, yes, exactly. Fishing, Indian Wells. Again, we got to thank Rick for sending us the beer. And Dee, why don't we just open this and see what it tastes like. It's a Bach. Now, uh, this is about 12% alcohol on this. Oh, crap. So, um, yeah, these what? Are, He's going to do the, the, the pouring instead of me. He's a better pourer than I am. Now, pour. I have a question. Yes. Are, are, are we going to be able to uh, procure these beers in the Las Vegas metro area? I believe yeah, so. Yeah, Indian Wells is for sale in the Valley. Yeah. yeah. But, Even the I, new I, ones like, the, like these? I haven't, I haven't been out there in the market support. for a while. <laughs> I don't know. I he always skips me. He doesn't like me. <laughs> well, your glass is way down there. Just slide it over here. Easy ass. You slide it over here and I'll, I'll fill it. I'm All right, you. this is looking pretty pretty yeah. dark. Mm, very good. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. I ain't touching this glass. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's, oh, the smell is really strong. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. It tastes like. Carbonated. That's what it's beer. Yeah. Be. I taste a, a little sour. Yeah. 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 It has a little sour taste to it. Sour. It's hitting the sides of my tongue Why is it in sour? the back where my sour sensors are. Yeah. Do you taste the it's 12 good, percent though. alcohol? It tastes kind of light. No. Don't you think? Yeah. It does not taste like a 12 percent beer. Interesting. Not at all. It doesn't taste like. Which the is color scary. That, that could that could be very dangerous. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah. We'll drink a couple very of those misleading. tonight. We'll be in in yeah. the pool. 
We exactly. might actually shoot an episode from the pool. A little bit I, I actually wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I was. This show was actually going to be shot outside, but due to weather conditions and unpredictability, oh, yeah. I was afraid of electrocution and lightning strikes and that sort and of thing. And 115 degrees? Who needs that, right? Exactly. Well, it's only right. 114 in here. All right, so you know what? Not what I expected on this. Not, no. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it was, it, I was expecting you know, expect something it's a little actually, more lobotomy. You know, for twelve percent, it, it's really smooth. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, but it, the sour kind of just throws me off. For hmm. I don't the, know. This is uh, how do I say? It? I, I don't generally like sour beers either. Yeah. But on a hot day, this actually tastes really good. It's almost like having a little lemonade in your beer. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. In your twelve percent uh, yeah. beer. So, so you get your your buzz, your flavor, a little uh, refreshment on a cool day. Okay. This, this is one of this, this would actually be a good dark beer to drink on a hot day. Yeah. Generally, you want to drink fruit beers or something light. Yeah. This is good. Yep. I recommend it. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's uh, let's finish this up and then we'll finish up our our show on Indian Wells with uh, a, a a beer that we've all had before, but it's just so good we're gonna have to feature it, right? Yeah. That's we're it. just gonna throw it in there because it's good. Yeah. All right. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, part four of the Indian Wells show here on the I Love Beer Show. We're featuring beers from Indian Wells Brewing that uh, Rick the Brewer has generously gave us. Oh. And it's, it's the sample. And to finish, an off, gonna start, gonna finish off, we're going to finish off with an oldie but a goodie. Oldie but a goodie. They're uh, barrel aged uh, the whiskey brothers. Amber. Is the barrel aged amber. Yes, yes. Now, uh, full disclosure, I've already, I've already had this. And it's oh, really good. I've I have already two. had yes. this. I've actually okay. had one of these that I aged for over a year. Wow. Wow. When I moved to Texas, we, we got some of these at the uh, show we did at Town Square. Yes. Right. Yes. And then I kept one and went to Texas with it. I was out there eight months. I think I drank it the last, like, in November. I left in December. Wow. wow. I cracked this dude, and it was... It was well worth it. Well, I, I want to I want to see if, if D can actually uncap the, that the last with his little you know, hand uncapper. The last Where, time I, I don't had, think he can do it. Last time I had one, uh, I went straight to the brewery and got it. Yes, <laughs> you you drove the as I have been there. Yeah, we've been to the. Me that and is been a to road trip. Yeah, That's we, a road trip. So uh, well is, worth it. <laughs> in Yokern, California. Yeah, at the middle of nowhere. But, yeah. Oh, and by the way, we have to mention also that they also do sodas there. Yes. I know all the sodas are fantastic. And the sodas are phenomenal. The lemon, the lemon one that you had at the show, we he called it the what do you call it? The hookup or something? You put the, the the lemon with some. Yeah, he you know, called it the hookup. Oh man, that was he, delicious. He used to take one of his beers. I forget what it was. I'm afraid. <laughs> and then he would uh, add the hard lemonade to it. In yeah, Mac. it was it was a it was good stuff. Yeah. So especially uh, so when you had a bigger tasting glass than everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so this <laughs> tends to happen. So I, when wonder, I, go to beer I wonder how that happened, right? Yeah. You know, the, 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 there's a church key right under you. you <clears throat> yeah, but that's not going to get under the wax, dude. That's yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, uh, he really caps this well, huh? You have to work for this beer, I think. That's the key. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Where's the blowtorch? Is somebody <laughs> get a chainsaw? There we go. There you go. Oh, there we go. There you go. You know, fetch. My you dog's know what? Down there. You should pour after that. You did all the work. <coughs> and he's even gonna pour Jimmy's he's glass. Pour Jimmy's glass. Last segment he didn't do that. He just left you oh, hanging nice. in the cold, in the in the heat, I should say. But yeah, this is uh, this is good. All right, this is one. This, of, looks this good. is like one of my very very favorite bears by Rick. Yeah, love it. And again, uh, this is a twelve percenter, so it'll get you. It'll get you. Good it'll sipping get beer. You good. And uh, really done well. Really, this is a really, really great beer. I, you know, like I said, but before okay. that. Okay. So yeah. So cheers. This is a very good one. Of course, it's a little. Mm. It's a little. It's not a very sessionable beer. No. Being at twelve percent alcohol. Oh, boy, that is that delicious. We can have several <clears throat> sessions of this. Yes. Yeah. This is really. Oh, good. this stuff goes down like yeah. Really, really good. Better than coffee. I, I, I tell you, um, I, I oh. One of one of my one of my favorites from Indian Indian Wells is the uh, lobotomy Bach. Yes. You know? Yes. 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 Uh, but I have to tell you, this this is. Oh, so what's good their? Too. Uh, well. They make the double the too. Yeah. yeah, really good stuff. The lobotomy, like what do they call it? It's the double lobotomy. Yes. Bach. Yes. Yeah. And, and, no, not the amnesia. That's the IPA, I think. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, he does a lot of really good beers. I, 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 listen, you know, he's in the middle of nowhere, but if you ever get a chance to, to visit, it, it, it is worth it's worth it. We're going to do a road trip, seriously, and do a, a beer show live from, mm. from Indian Wells. Live from Indian Wells. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll bring the trailer yeah. out there. We will camp out. <laughs> listen, you know what? Uh, we, that sounds like a good yeah, idea. Our mobile me. unit. <laughs> right, right, right. So anyway, um, good show on this. Ready Again, to go, Rick. Rick, thanks a lot for the beers. Keep it flowing, buddy. Keep it flowing. Keep, keep it flowing. We'll see you at a beer festival, I'm sure. Very soon. Yeah. And for everybody out there watching, go to the ilovebeershow.com. Go to the website. There's social media links at the top of the page. Just go on everyone. Click everyone. Like us. Follow. Every time you follow us, you help us out, and we appreciate it. Yeah. Right? We're on Instagram, Facebook, yeah. Yeah. Twitter. And, uh, and we'll be on whatever new platform comes on. out. Uh, we're, we're due for one. What are those dating <laughs> sites that you're on? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really trying to get our name out there, so... It's all good. Tinder. Th that's yeah. the one. Swipe right. <laughs> Swipe right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for watching, Rick. everyone. Okay. Oops. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Ron. Ron. I can't Ron. take you anywhere. It's a disaster. All right. So, so now, every time Ron comes here, I find something broken. <laughs> <laughs>